Hey, hey, it's me, SB. I am so glad that you are back. And as you can see, what we were doing today is a learning how to print out our own booklets and where you can get your own vintage antique patterns and print them out at home. So yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. So where I get my tatting patterns from is from Antique Pattern Library. Dot org. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this before in my other tatting videos, but thought I'd revisit this in this video here. As you can see here, they have a ton of different crafts that you can go and look for vintage or antique patterns for. Anything from Battenberg lace to woodworking or wook work basket magazine. I don't know what that is, but you know, it, there's quite a bit of stuff that you can find, as you can see here. But the book that we are going to be working from is called, coincidentally, uh, The Tatting Book. <laughs> here it is, as you can see here. What I did was I simply downloaded this onto my computer and opened up the PDF file. And here is the PDF file here. And of course they add this disclaimer to all of their antique patterns on there. Just letting you know that, hey, this is free. Do not sell copies of this. Don't claim it as your own. And it is under the Creative Commons and the public domain. So anyways, let's continue on. So the whole purpose of this video is to teach you how to turn this into a booklet. So what we're going to do is we are going to go to our little print icon here in the upper right hand corner or control P or you can go to menu and print. <laughs> a bunch of different ways to get to the same place. Now you're going to see a page similar to this whenever you click print. What we're going to do is go to our little booklet tab right here in the middle. Let's go ahead and click that. And what I found through my mini Feld experiments of trying to print this out <laughs> was that you cannot do double sided printing. So I'm going to turn that off. And landscape seems to work pretty well with this method but you have to have an even number of pages. So what we're gonna have to do is we are gonna have to change our pages so that way we are only printing two through 25. So now everything should be oriented correctly. As you can see here in this little tiny preview, we have our booklet all nice and set up now. All right, so now since we can't do double-sided printing, we are going to print the front side only. And this shall only print the front side of our pages. As you can see here, there's only six pages now that will be printed out. So yeah, that looks great. So now our binding is going to be on the left, with the, which is correct, because that's where we're going to be binding our book, which is right in the middle, which is our left-hand side. I have it set on landscape. I'm going to go back to properties. It is set on standard. You can set this up to a higher or a lower ink quality. Um, draft is just going to use less ink and it's going to be a little more fuzzy. I'm just going to leave mine on standard. And we are going to have to be very careful when we're printing this. We're going to have to watch how the printer is you know, spitting out our paper in which side is the top. So yeah, let's go ahead and print this out and I will show you a little clip of my printer printing. Okay, totally forgot to mention, I was watching my printer print, as you saw in the 
previous clip and I realized that it was printing out reverse order and I was confused and I forgot that the collate and the reverse order was clicked. Just make sure if you have those clicked to keep them clicked for the next step. So as you can see, my printer spits it out with the top facing towards the left hand side. So I'm going to have to keep note of that. So now we're going to switch our, our little booklet to back side only to print back side only. And of course we're going to have to change our pages again. 2 to 25 and there we go. Now we're printing the other side of our booklet. So now since mine spits out the top going to the left, I'm simply going to flip my work and put it in there with the front or the top side facing towards the left hand side. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully it works. I'm a little scared, but here we go. If everything came out correctly, we should have all of our pages oriented correctly and we should be able to fold them in half and now have a booklet. So this is the last page that is printed and our very back of our booklet here. So now all we're going to do is simply grab every single one of our papers and fold them in half just like this and I'm just gonna go through and fold all of my papers in half easy right I mean it does it is a little time-consuming but I don't know I think it's just the joy of doing it right so now we have page two that is page three as you can see everything is working out the way it should and if you want to get real fancy you can bust out the scoreboard or the scoring board rather and just score across and you're gonna have the crispest looking lines ever <laughs> but for now this is gonna work for me and here we go a little crooked that's okay. And that is our center page done. And now we got a little booklet here and I'm going to show you how to bind it. Okay. A few things that you're going to need if you want to bind this into an actual book, you're either going to need some embroidery thread, which I happen to have some right here, uh, something pokey to poke holes for and a little needle that we can thread it through. It's going to be a real simple binding. Other than that, if you happen to have a stapler and a little bit of patience, you could just staple this together and be done with it. Um, I've tried that before and I tend to miss up doing it, so I'd rather just do it this way. Another thing you might need is something that you can actually poke your holes through. It's not going to be real precise because, you know, we're just doing this real quickly. Okay, and I also grabbed an old notebook just so I have somewhere where I can poke holes through. And what I like to do, I don't measure or anything. I just kind of go in the middle. Just, I don't know, maybe like an inch, half an inch, something like that. It's more like two inches, about right there. And we're just going to poke a hole there, roughly in the middle here. And then almost in the same location as the top one. 
And there we go. Now we got holes. I'm just going to get my little awl going all the way through. Simple. Okay, now that we got that, we're going to take our thread, whatever type of thread you are using. And I got a bunch of little scraps here. And what I like to do is I just measure one, two, and maybe and a half like that. And that should be sufficient for what we need. And now I'm just gonna cut this. And I'm actually gonna use my <laughs> tatting needle here to do this. And we're just gonna do a regular booklet binding. So we're gonna open it up and we're gonna stick our needle into the center hole. And we're just gonna leave that hanging out just a little bit. As you can see, it got stuck to the top, but it's right there. And then we are gonna go to the top hole. Pull it through. And then once you get the top one, we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom hole here. And I'm gonna make sure that my tail is hanging out at the bottom of our thread here. Just like that. And now we're gonna go back through our center hole right here. And I like to kind of pull the thread just a little bit, just to make it a little easier to get into. And there we go, we're in the center. And now we're just gonna pull this just a little bit tight, not too tight though. And I like to go underneath with one of my tails so that way it's wrapped around, just like that. And now all we're gonna do is we are going to knot this together. And I'm gonna do a double knot right there. Just get it kind of tight. And we're gonna do it one more time just to make sure it's not gonna fall apart. And it came undone, of course. There we go. All right. And now I am just going to trim these so that way they are the same length. There we go. And there we go. Our booklet is bound and it is definitely not going anywhere. And now we can start working through our book and actually have a book that we printed off and made ourselves. I love that. This is amazing. All right, guys, so be prepared for the next video in this series where we go through the tatting book and work through some of these amazing patterns in here. Now, this is made for shuttle tatting. I am a needle tatter, but Everything is pretty easy to, you know, translate to needle tatting. So yeah, we'll work through it together for sure. But I think where we're gonna start is we are gonna start on the edgings and just kind of make our way through. Maybe we'll pick more of the complex ones to work through. And yeah, just kind of go through and see what piques our interest. So anyways, guys, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. If you learned anything from this video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. And yeah, happy crafting. I'll see you next time. Bye.